Long story short, in uh, June of 2007, there were six uh, temporary exempt survey employees hired by the Department of Public Works, and uh, we sh were hired unlawfully as temporary exempts. And the reason we were hired in that capacity was because uh, this prevents us from having any civil service rights. This intimidates us into bringing grievances at our union. Um, for those who aren't familiar with the temporary exempts, uh, temporary is obvious. The exempt part is that we're exempt from civil service rules. Uh, we were then worked out of class. Uh, I personally was worked out of class two and three steps. I was managing all the field crews for the survey department at DPW, and I was still being paid at entry level. When I started complaining about these things, I was fired in June of 2009. So right now, um, I have one of these good lawyers. Um, Whitney Lay used to be uh, Matt Gonzalez's partner, and we brought a suit in federal court um, against all these practices. Uh, we've already had two depositions myself on the county surveyor and uh, the county surveyor basically admitted everything under oath that they had done to uh, lie to the Board of Supervisors and uh, getting a subdivision mapping fund that they've used as an operational slush fund and defrauded the people of San Francisco with that. They admitted that they hired all these workers out of class and temporary exempt unlawfully. And so we have all this under oath right now and we're probably going to have a settlement within the next few months. But um, regarding the whole tactic of uh, going to the courts, I was sort of put in a position where I had to, to fight my own rights. And the only way we're really going to win any of these things is through self-organization, through groups like Occupy that can um, pressure the labor movement into more militancy. Because the courts may be, uh, they may be a good uh, tool of last resort, but in the final analysis, they're not a strategy for a working class people to ever achieve their rights. If anybody wants to have a referral to that lawyer that I'm using, um, Matt Gonzalez's is old partner, I'd be happy to give it to them. But in the meantime, I think we ought to be working together on these issues and pressuring the labor movement. But I also want to comment on what happened with um, Local 21 of IFTPE. In June of uh, 2009, when I had brought a grievance against uh, being a temporary exempt and saying that it was being used as a tool to work us out of class and cheat us out of our wages. The response of Robert Muscat, who is the executive director of Local 21, was to uh, put out a flyer calling for all of us to be fired. And they presented that to management. Rather than stand up for us, because I had, I had written him and uh, a couple of other union officials about it, uh, demanding representation because we were dues-paying members. Uh, his response was just to uh, advocate that we be fired and uh, actually put out a flyer to that effect that was distributed in a union meeting. Hey. So, yeah, so when I uh, caused us to think about that, I was fired about a couple of weeks later. He was an agent of the boss? Then. Yes, Robert Muscat is definitely an agent of the boss. He continues to be. And I, have, I have a friend who's vice president of IFTPE in uh, the East Bay who told me that she had had the same experience with him and with our former uh, business rep, Steve O'Keefe, that they did absolutely nothing to represent any of the members in any grievances that they ever had. So it goes to show that not only is uh, our dispute with management, but it's with our, the leadership of our own unions. We're never going to get anywhere until we get some of those guys out. Or we have to organize independently of them.